What's going on everyone? Justin here with Trading Cards and more back with another box opening video. Today we have some more of the Canto Power Collection boxes. Uh, these have the 10 packs of evolutions. I have three of these boxes. Um, they're all the Dragonite Pidgeot, bo uh, Pidgeot boxes. Really fun to open. Uh, if you guys missed the last uh, video opening of these, uh, we actually pulled three of the Charizard Holographics. Uh, we didn't pull a Charizard EX, a Charizard Mega e uh, EX, or the Full Art Mega Charizard, and we didn't pull the Reverse Hollow Charizard. So there's still four other Charizards that we haven't even pulled yet, but we did so good on that opening. I just had to buy some more boxes. I mean, these are such a great deal. Essentially, you're getting the two EX cards automatically guaranteed, the Full Art, uh, or the big Jumbo card, and then 10 packs for only $40 at retail. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this first box here We got glow mat in here Another funny thing to note is we only got one one other holographic out of all 40 packs other than the three Charizards uh, Generally speaking you're gonna get a lot a lot of other um, Hollow cards, so that was very strange I did watch somebody else open one of these, and they got six hits out of uh, out of the ten out of the ten packs. They got like six hits. I mean, you got EX cards in here. You got obviously the hollow cards. You got the full arts, all that stuff. So, and then also you got the secret rares, which aren't really that secret. I mean, we only hit one on the last opening, which was surprising. But I guess one is better than none. And actually, one of those Pikachus just ended um, at auction. The uh, I think it was a surfing Pikachu. PSA 9, and it sold for like $45. <laughs> just for a 9. So I've got a whole stack of those. I'm going to go through, and if they look like potential 10s, uh, definitely going to grade some of them. With this next, uh, this next order, yeah, these are looking pretty good. Yeah, a little flip up. Almost, almost always happens with no matter what they do with the packaging almost always it's hard to catch it on camera but see like right there it like indents along the edge not planning on grading those anyway but just something to note uh, if you guys are in here let me know and leave a like my lead nation and glow in here Let's see if we can hit that charizard hollow again I definitely have one that looks like a PSA 10. It's got absolutely no factory lines, which I've never seen before. And the centering was perfect on it. So that's potentially a $6,000 card. Eddie Jung, what's going on? And Carson's in the house, what's going on? How are you doing after that, uh, <laughs> after that gummy bear, man? Star you, and we got an electrode non-hollow. Another thing I've noticed is a lot of these don't ha don't even have, uh, Energy card, and I feel like I remember. It seemed like almost every pack had an energy card, but I could be wrong. Yeah, Carson, if you guys don't follow him, he's got a channel, Ticket Time, and he had, he ate a world's hottest like gummy bear yesterday, and he was dying. That did not look like fun. Not not, not something that I could ever do. I'd be I'd be dead. Uh, let's see here. Uh, when you grade on the PSA, I don't I don't do the qualifier now. It's whatever they grade the card is what they grade the card. Uh, we got a Pikachu, very nice, just a base Pikachu. Uh, we got a Reverse Foil Energy, and we got a Dugong, non hollow. The qualifier is for like you know if it's a off centered or mi miscut or stay on the card or something. I don't even put anything on there. You don't need to. It's just like <clears throat> just like the min grade, it'll ask you. Uh, do you want a minimum grade on the card? If you put that on there and then the card doesn't meet the grade, they won't slab it. But they'll still charge you for it. So it's like you might as well just get it slabbed to see what it is. Uh, Porygon and a red. Okay, so we're 3-0 three, three and oh right now. And a single hit. Not as, all green cards. No white code cards. That's what I mean. You can get like six hits out of a, a box or you can get like next to nothing. Let's see here, we got to keep getting the Charmander. These starters, I mean, it's just a common card, but people are going nuts on these things. Go on eBay. It's crazy. 
Oh, there's another Pikachu. Ooh, we got a red reverse coming up. Could it be the Charizard reverse foil? Could it be? We got Blake in here. What's going on, Blake? Oh, it is a Ponyta. That would have been insane. You get the reverse foil uh, Charizard and PSA 10. It's, it's somewhere around twelve to $1,500 right now. Or at least it was. It might have cooled down a little bit. But that is crazy. Love to get that. I do already have that card in a 10, though. Um, uh, for my PSA returns, it's been about five months or so. But they've been going a little bit slower. As as the kind of the year went on, it, they got more and more backed up. So, like, you know, they're a little slower. Joel's in here. What's going on? Fabe, what's up? Let's see what we got. I already seen the green coat on the back, so that's kind of a dead giveaway. Potion and an RK9. See, I would have thought maybe that was like a Charizard or something. But nope, not a single hit out of the first half of the box here. Yeah, some of the stuff is retraced a little bit. October was a crazy month. And uh, some of the prices on stuff just went way too high, too fast. So now it's kind of like simmering a little bit. Another Charmander. It's got to be our third one. And we got a Ghastly. We have actually just pulled him, didn't we? Yeah. Reverse. And a Mewtwo. So, six packs in a row. Hey, we did get a Secret Rare here. We got the uh, Surfing Pikachu. Definitely is left to right off center. Pretty good. That's the thing with the, the borders. See the skinnier border over here. And you can see it on the back. You see some whitening a little bit there, a little bit there. So, tough to get it. Tough, tough, tough to get that card in a 10. Even a 9. Uh, the, yeah, basketball's definitely heated up in the last uh, couple weeks. The draft is going to happen, I believe, Wednesday. Um, and so everybody's kind of heating up for that next season, which starts in December. Uh, so the code cards, if it's a green code card, you won't get a hit. If it's a white one, you'll get a hit in the pack, a hollow card or better. Uh, we got like our four Charmander. Growlithe, a chop, and Slowbro, uh, Slowbro Spirit Link with a nice little hollow line in there. And another non-hit. Man, these boxes are just absolutely destroying us. Never seen this before. Like seven packs in a row, all duds. All duds. Alright, we got a Pikachu. Nets are trying to make a super team. Yeah, that's nice. I bought in on, uh, who's the center for for the team? There's Brock's Grit and Farfetch'd. Another non-hit. And we got another Secret Rare. Not really anything special. Sometimes you get two in a pack. We did not. Uh, I was going to say maybe we had the this guy here, but... Nope. This one's not as like popular. That one's actually got really good centering, surprisingly. It's got a cool artwork. And... Looks really solid on the back. I honestly could possibly get a 10, but I don't know if it'd be worth it. Send it in. Um, got another Pikachu in there, so. Uh, not Clayton. Um, uh, Jared Allen, yeah. I bought a bunch of Jared Allen uh, rookies because I've some people were talking about them on different YouTube videos uh, with, you know, Kevin Durant coming back. There's definitely a potential there for his cards to go up. There's another Pikachu starter. And we got a Starmie. And did somebody like buy this box and just like go through and, and weigh everything out or something? Like what what's going on here? This makes no sense. Set that off to the side. It's a special energy card. Double colorless. 17 people in here. If you guys don't mind leaving a like. Ten packs in, and we haven't got a single hit on the whole freaking box. Unreal. Ponyta, through Dio, and we got <laughs> Do Duo. How many packs are we going to get with the same reverse as we get in the pack? And we got ten for ten, an absolute bust. That is unbelievable. I mean, there's no, no way these boxes were tampered with. They're brand spanking new. You can see. See, they're all glued. Everything's, per you know, never been messed with. It's actually, it's 
standard standard glue. Everything looks normal to me. It's not like they're they, they hit the Walmart shelves so they're not there very long. I think somebody could buy something, take it back to Walmart, and return it. And, but uh, if that was the case, it wouldn't be there. Like the day they literally stock everything. Yeah, uh, I have a bunch of Tyler Hero as well at PSA. Well, I'll definitely get them back before the summer. I mean, even the even the orders that are uh, at PSA right now, or the stuff that I you know sent in in the last month, probably should make it back before. Before June, I would say. Um, but there's no way to know these cards again. Just leave them up. At least you get the two uh, guaranteed EXs uh, out of each box. But that just makes the cards more common because you can get them right out of the the box. That was a rough box. I've never seen that happen before. I mean, literally, like. 10, 10 packs and not a single hit. That doesn't make any sense. Take all the take all the open and off packs back to Walmart and be like, ah, oh, somebody just screwed me. Oh, give me my money back. Uh, but you just never know. Pikachu, but I've never personally had that happen. Another reverse and a oh, we got a hit. So we uh, box number two, we got a hit. Maybe all the hits are in this box. Definitely top to bottom centering on that one. It's a Pidgeot EX. There's a Mega Pidgeot EX as well. I like the Pidge regular Pidgeot artwork a lot better. There's the back centering. So that's definitely not a 10. It's got a little like thing, little thing going on there too. But nice looking card. Not sure on the value on that one. It's probably it's probably under 10 bucks, but definitely not. And there's our first white code card right there. Unreal. And we got a term was that our first Charmeleon? Like in the uncommon slot? Something's crazy, man. How did we only get one? We got like four or five. Okay, there's a no, that's Charmander. There's Charmander. We got a bunch of uh Charmanders and Pikachu's. Charmander, Charmander. Because normally I get just as many char uh, Charmeleons as Charmanders. Because you get three cards in the uncommon slot. But Literally, our only, first and only, Charmeleon. Strange. First pack magic, though. We got a full art. It'd be nice out if that was a Charizard. Because that's, uh, I think, around $400 right now on a PSA 10. And we got a Machamp. That's not bad. It's a reverse foil. Definitely left to right off centered on that. And a Dodri uh, Doug Trio. Almost said Dodrio. It's Doug Trio. Nothing, not great, but yeah, this one's a good card. Any of the the hollow cards, if you can get them in reverse hollow, are nice. It's definitely off centered, so that's why this set's so hard, and that's why you know people that if they do get like a PSA 10, it's worth a lot of money, but they're not really worth grading in my opinion. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, I usually stack the codes and just end up selling them to someone. If you're interested, let me know. I think I got a few hundred. Uh, we got another reverse energy. So I got quite a few of them. And a star me. Be nice if we could hit that Charizard Hollow. I mean, it's asking for a lot because we got three on the last four boxes we opened. And that was totally unexpected. Yeah, like opening the packs like this so you don't see if there's a good code or not. Charmander, there's a seal, and a eradicate. Well, well, pain to find. What's that, Colleen? Uh, what's going on, by the way? So we're halfway into the opening. This is, I think, pack number 15. Hopefully we get a hit here. Yeah, the Charizard is hard to find. <laughs> uh, we got the Pikachu. Ponyta. 
Ooh, Sandshrew and Starmie. Man, and a Surfing Pikachu. Nice. So we did get one of the secret rares. Let's take a gander at this one. Little print spot there. Pretty good centering, a little bit off. Not too bad. Probably not a 10 though. Be nice to hit one of the other Charizards. I mean, there's the, the EX and the Mega EX and then the Full Art. And you also have the Reverse Foil, which with this set being 108 cards, there's quite a few Reverse Foils. Like At least I think 100 of the cards are Reverse Foil. Isaac, what's going on? Ooh, we got a Haunter. Reverse and a Beedrill. Man! Another Charmeleon, only our second one, double colorless. This has just been absolutely brutal, man. One hit, not no holographics, no nothing. Literally one full art card, and that's it. Out of 16 packs, this is crazy. This is like a new record. I hope it's coming. Got another Pikachu. Don't discount the Pikachus, and we got a reverse Pikachu. Nice, this is a big card. Especially if you can get this in a 10. Now this one is off-centered. It's not horrible. It might, might get the 9. Uh, let's see what the next card is. Man, another Farfetch'd. Doggone it, man. So even when you're not getting the big, you know, the hits, you're still getting a hit. <laughs> so that's kind of what's good about this set. You got the two Pikachu secret rares in this set. You got the reverse foil. You could look at that. This looks really cool. I never would have thought about grading this card a few years ago when I was pulling these out of packs, but obviously now with the way the prices have gone, it looks really good on the back. One little tiny little thing going on there, but shouldn't shouldn't uh, knock it down too much. So hopefully it's a nine. Probably still worth grading. Set that over there. Guys, uh, haven't left a like? Please do. We got 24 people in here. It means 25% have hit the like button. Um, we still have uh, some more boxes uh, for Champions Path, especially those Elite Trainer boxes. It's gonna give us the best shot. I mean, we got five of those. So that's another 50 packs. Hopefully, we can hit one of those two Charizards. They just have been impossible. Oh, Growlithe. It's hoping for the Charizard. And Electrode. Talk on it, man. This is just... Look at the green cards. I mean, out of 18 packs, we got one white code. Like, what the heck is going on, man? This doesn't make sense. This just doesn't make sense. Pikachu. Star you. It's, like, it's like it was tampered with or something. Magikarp and Tukong. Unbelievable, man. This just doesn't make sense. There's a Charizard Spirit Link. I guess that's not really worth much of anything. But uh, if you can get it in reverse foil, it does go for something. So, uh, One hit. Because see, the green code cards are usually more heavy. And that full art card would be a heavier card. So, it, I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. But it doesn't make sense. Ooh, we got a hit. We got a hit. We got two hits out of 20 packs here. One in 10. Let's see what we got. Glad I haven't had the money to buy these. <laughs> That's funny. Actually, I mean, look at how good we did on the last three bo or four boxes we opened. I probably made like five, six grand. As long as that one charge that come back, so it comes back at 10. We got the Hitmonchan. Reverse. That's a nice one. And we got a Mewtwo. Check that out. That might have just paid for the whole the whole deal there. Pretty off-centered on the left to right. It's the one issue you get a lot of times on these. See the, how thick the border is on this side. It's pretty skinny over here. You can see that on the back as well. It's just shifted, especially at the top. So that's not even going to be gradable. I mean, you could get a 9 out of it, but I don't usually bother. I'm shooting for the 10 almost every time. Um... Yeah, nice card though. I mean, we got two full arts, not any other regular EX cards. 
Um, another Charmeleon. Sleeve up to Hitmonchan because he's rare. Yeah, don't discount the. It's got this goofy like corner cut. It's the thing with these that, like, when they cut them, sometimes the corners are just cut really weird. Strangeness. It seems like the graders grade them down, downgrade them because of the cut. Got those energy cards. A few energy cards. Really nice. Starmie, that's a rare. But it doesn't come in a regular hollow, so it's not as popular. Not too bad. Two hits so far out of 20 packs. We got 10 more. Last box. Hopefully we get lucky and just get a bunch of hits on this box. It'd be nice to hit at least one of the five Charizards. You would think packs you would get at least one Charizard. Because this, uh, this set was packed full of Charizard cards. Seems to be always a good thing for long-term investing on a set if there's a Charizard in there. Especially if there's multiple. Mainly with Flashfire, because there was seven Charizards in Flashfire in that set. Absolutely exploded in price. Dragonite. I gotta do something with my jumbo cards. I got so many jumbo cards, I don't I don't do anything with them. I did, I used to sell the Charizard jumbo cards off. Those sold pretty easily because they're Charizards, but sleeve up our Dragonite and our Pidgeot. I'm going to probably get out there this week and try to hit it a little bit harder and see if I can find some more products. Just the fact that, you know, some of these, some of these items are actually hitting the shelves now, so there's opportunity there to find something. Just sucks when you go hit a bunch of stores and you just come up empty hand empty handed every time. We got another hit. We got another hit. I seen the edge. Third box is the charm. And ooh, a ponyta and it is a Mewtwo. Nice. We got a Mewtwo. Regular EX card. White code. Let's take a take a gander at it. Really good on the centering. Maybe a little bit left to right. Yeah, it's a little left to right. Ooh. A little spot on the back. Not too bad, a little shifted. Once again, I don't generally grade the regular EX cards. Only the full art ones out of here. Or the, or if we get a Mega Charizard. Or any Charizard. Any Charizard card. You get it pack fresh. It's probably worth grading. If we can actually get one out of here. It's crazy. Uh, Babadita. What's going on? Welcome to the, the video. Ooh, we got a Nidorino. Uncommon and a Farfetch'd. Man. This is nuts, man. I mean, we've got the EX cards, but we haven't got a single holographic card out of, out of that many packs. Like, this is nuts. This is just crazy. Very random on these boxes is what I've been finding. Very random. Ooh, we got a Porygon. And we did get our first Hollow. We got a Hollow Zapdos. Nice. That's not a bad one. Take a look at this holographic pattern. I don't see a factory line on this. Normally you have a line going across, like straight across the card, and I don't see one. Centering looks pretty good on it. A little bit of silvering on the left edge. No bad dots in the corner. Like just barely, barely, but not anything. Centering is pretty decent. A little bit top to bottom. Very surprised to not see a hollow um, line on this. That's very, very rare to pull any any hollow card out of this set that doesn't have a factory line. I don't know. Let me know, guys. Should I grade this thing? Is it worth the $10 risk on that? Uh, it sucks the top, top to bottom's a little bit off. I'll probably knock it down to a 9, more than likely. 
I mean, if you get a perfect hollow and then you get off centering, it defeats the whole purpose. Found your holographic chancy card. Base, base set two. Uh, go on eBay and check the price. It all depends on the condition. Definitely has some value, but if it's all worn down, it's probably only worth a few bucks. Base set two is not as valuable as base set. Oh, okay, we got a Diglett and a Machamp. So we got another hollow card. Sweet. Two hollow, two hollow hits in a row. I complained and I received. And that one's pretty good off-centered left to right. Let's take a look at the hollow. Once again, I don't see... Oh, okay, never mind. Right right there, going all the way across. You can see a hollow factory line. Very, very minimal. Hard to catch. But off-centered anyways. But still, a nice holographic Machamp. Alrighty, two hollow cards. So we got uh, three hits now out of this box. This is a nice box out of, out of four packs, too. Alright, we got Sandshrew, Ponyta, got another Pikachu. Oh, we got a break card. We got our first break card. I forgot these were even in this set. And we got an Electrode. You get them in the reverse foil slot, and it's a nine tails. So, a little off centered on that one. These are cut the same way that the EX cards are cut. So, you can see the real roundness of the corners and everything, which is nice. I graded a few of these back in the day. <laughs> they didn't go for much 20, maybe 25 bucks, even if I got a 10. But, break cards were kind of a cool thing, just a unique hollow design on them and nothing else in that pack I usually uh, sell the code cards I usually wait till I got a few hundred of them and just sell them off Ooh, we got a Slowbro Spirit Link. Man, a lot of these reverses have like a factory line going right through them. And stupid far fetched. You son of a gun. Who are you looking at like that? Oh, we got another secret rare. Let's take a look see at this one. Seemed like the last one we pulled looked really good too. On the centering. Not too shabby. Cut pretty good. Tiny little white, tiny little white. Tough, tough cards. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do the Elite Trainer boxes tomorrow. I don't know. It's either those or those Hetern boxes. However you pronounce that Pokemon name. Another Pikachu. Oh, we got a Raichu. That's a nice one. A reverse foil Raichu. I can already see a few scratches in the hollow. And Electrode. So another non-hit on that one. We got another Charizard Spirit Link. Don't know why I'm sleeving that up, but I am. This already has a scratch, I can see it right there. Maybe a faint line somewhere in here. So, still a nice little reverse foil on that one. Set those foils off to the side. PSA marked down the mosaic cards because they are bent. Um, if a card has a bend in it, yeah, they're gonna mark it down. Um, if you're talking about it's it's a little bit warped, like a little bit uh, bowed, that's not going to mark down on the card, unless it's warped. Holographic cards can often get like a bow to them, 
but that's not gonna hurt the card grade. Unless it's a bend or a crease. Ooh, we got another Nine Tails break. And a RK9. Dang it. And there's another Charmeleon. Nine Tails. Nice. Same same centering almost, maybe. Alright. Last two packs of the opening. Last chance to get a single Charizard out of 30 packs. This is crazy. Crazy, crazy. Eh, it wasn't that a, that wasn't a great pack. The one before it was pretty, I guess. Alright. Are those spirit links worth a lot? Um, eh, they're not really. Um, yeah. If you can get it in a reverse foil, people to a lot of people will grade it, but we got Charmander, Diglett, and Haunter reverse again, and a Mew. Very nice. That's one of the nice. Forgot this card was in this set. Um, holy crap, this card is messed up. Something happened with the printing process on that card. Terrific, Ted. What's going on? If you look at the bottom border. I don't know if you guys can... There's a bunch of, like, lines at the uh, right there. And the holographic itself just looks really weird. It's like there, there's lines going all the way down it, and there's lines going across it. Uh, just the whole print of the card just got messed up. That is weird. And the cut on that card is horrible. <laughs> Holy crap. Never seen anything like that. See if you guys can tell. See all the lines in the hollow? Holy Moses. This thing is messed up. He loved Mew. Yeah. It's a pretty common card. It's just a regular hollow card. A lot of people call this the lily pad one, but he's actually on a rock. I don't know why they call it the lily pad one, but pretty easy card to come by. Um, yeah. You're not really going to get PSA 10s out of here unless you're talking about the EX cards. Holographic cards are almost nearly impossible, and then the reverse foils, they are possible, but you have to have, like, that perfect card. All right, last pack, Magic. We got Charmander. Oh, we got a Machop. And we got a Charizard on the last pack. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. We got a Charizard on the last pack. There it is, the Mega Charizard EX. Oh my god, that didn't just happen. <laughs> Last pack, are you kidding me? Wow. Let's flip this baby over. I can see it's a little off-centered on the left to right. Depends on their grade, they're a little tough on this card, sometimes they're not. Back centering looks pretty good though. And it looks pretty good. So, I would say it has a shot at a 10. I graded, uh, I probably graded about 100 of these. Um, take a look at that surface, the edges, the corners, everything looks pretty pristine on it, which is to be expected. And the centering looks pretty good on the back, a uh, little skinny up here. Let's see if I can tell. Uh, it looks pretty even. Maybe it kind of goes down a little bit, gets fed over here, but that side almost looks a little skinny. So it's it's on the border. I mean, it might get a ten. It's definitely possible. And like I said, these are going for about four hundred bucks in a ten. I don't know what the nine's going for right now. Hundred, hundred and fifty. So this card probably paid for this entire opening. Um, that was really amazing. Let's go ahead and, as I just throw it onto the table there, <laughs> get these other cards out of the way, and uh, let's put this in a card saver. That's what we like to do. Wow, out of 30 packs, on the last pack we get a Charizard and the Charizard. Besides the Hollow card, this is the one you want. Um, obviously, you can get the, the Hollow cards going for more if you can get it in a PSA 9 or 10. But this is uh, the big dog when this set came out. Everyone was going crazy over this card. Um, the PSA 10s were probably around 150 bucks, And uh, as this card became like the most um, high population graded card for Pokemon... Uh, with like over a thousand PSA 10s pretty quick. Uh, the price really came down on it. And it was sitting for around $50 uh, for three years. 
um, and I, I held on to all the ones I had because I just I couldn't justify selling them for like 50 bucks a piece I had about you know 30 35 dollars a piece into them with grading and everything um, so but I've been selling them off and the most I got for one was 600 it spiked up there I think it was last month and I got 600 for one but now the price everybody basically rushed and put all theirs up for sale um, and the price has come down uh, to around 400 right now, so I'm still holding on to a stack of them. Um, but yeah, by the time I get this back, I mean, there's no telling what the price is going to be at, you know, in six, eight months from now on this card. And that, you know, even if it get, if if it gets a 10, which if they mark down on that centering left to right, um, just depends on if they're a little bit more lenient or not. Because on the back, the centering looks pretty flawless on the back, and everything else about the car looks really solid. So. Either way, it's awesome to pull it in a pack, and, and I can, you know, sell it off and make some money. Um, it's funny. It's got the Mega Charizard right there. It's kind of cool. The gold. It's, it's really cool. It's a nice card. Personally, I like the Flashfire Full Art Charizard better. Um, I have two of those in a PSA 10. I think that card is going for a few thousand dollars now. Um, it's just more rare, and, and the Flashfire set was a lot harder to grade and i just like the look of it it's more up just the colors and the look i don't know but the mega charizard is pretty sick uh let's look at the other hits that we got we did finally hit some uh on the last pack we got some hollow cards we got the mew we got the machamp and the and the zapdos uh and then we got that mew too and was this one on the last box i think no i think that was the second box um, so yeah, last box had five hits. That was really good. Um, but we only got the Mewtwo and the Pidgeot. Other than that, um, I think that was it. Do we have another one? I don't think so. These were all just the freebies there. And then I don't really count the, the break cards as a hit. And then we did get the, the Pikachu holographic. That was pretty nice. Um, so not a bad opening. Um, I think that was this one. Yeah, this one was top to bottom, and that one was pretty bad left to right. Um, yeah, and these hollows are next to them. I mean, if this one had the right top to bottom centering on it, probably would have ended up possibly grading that Zapdos because it, I did not see a hollow. Uh, the hollow on the whole hollow pattern itself is pretty subtle on this card, but just like the Machamp had the factory line, it's just barely you can even see it. Um, but yeah, not a bad opening. I will take that. Got the Mega Charizard on the very last pack. Um, yeah, I can't believe that either. <laughs> That's crazy. So out of three boxes, we got three full art cards. That was, you know, one in ten packs for a full art card. But then on the regular EXs and the Mega EXs, we only got one, which was a Mewtwo, which was very strange. And then we got three Hollows, which seems to be pretty standard on these, uh, on these boxes. So, uh... I graded it and it got a nine. And Nebby, the trainer said, very nice. Um, so yeah, uh, Robert Cruitt, sorry if I missed you there. My first live stream. It's first time on the stream. That's awesome. I think that's gonna be it for the video, guys. That's uh, we ended on a really good note here. Super stoked. Hoping hoping that it, uh, crossing the fingers on the ten, just because I can you know get more money out of a ten than a nine. Um, but still a really sick card to kind of brings me back because in 2017 i was opening tons and tons of boxes of these and i pulled quite a few of these uh and then i went on ebay and found a few sellers that had a bunch of them and i just like bought every one they had and i sent like i think it was 60 something of these to psa and uh i think all but like eight or nine of them came back a 10 there was a few nines in there um and i was a little nitpicky on the ones i sent mostly because of back sometimes there's bunch of scratches on the back and stuff and they just looked they look too too bad for the for the grading so still stoked on this and uh yeah tell me what you thought in the comments thanks for watching hopefully you had a good weekend be back here tomorrow for another opening and we'll see you in the next one